This week, Americans across the nation paused to remember and honor the legacy of first responders who we lost on September 11th. MSNBC correspondent Tremaine Lee and his Into America podcast team take a look at the history of black firefighters in New York City, specifically the fight to remember the 12 who died on 9-11 and the struggle for justice and equity for those who carry their legacy. Of the 343 firefighters who tragically died on 9-11, 12 were black. Leon Smith, great guy. Always had a big smile on his face. Captain Paul Washington really knew them all. Captain Vernon Richard. We studied together to become uh, for the captain's exam. A 33-year veteran of the department, Captain Washington helped recruit, train, and mentor many of them, including Keith Maynard. That was, that was my friend. I miss Keith. Washington and Maynard bonded as members of New York's Vulcan Society, an association of black firefighters focused on fighting racial discrimination and building racial equity in the department. Maynard's identical twin, Kevin, remembers their shared mission. And he and Paul became great friends because they were very passionate about what they were doing. But just two years into his career as a New York firefighter, Keith Maynard was gone, killed along with hundreds of others in the collapse of the Twin Towers. I was numb and I, I couldn't believe it. Even as the nation mourned together, both Captain Washington and Kevin were struck by the lack of representation in the remembrances. There was never an image of them throughout the whole deal in 9-11. There wasn't always a picture of him. There's a one or two stories, but then it was just forgotten. For Captain Washington, it was symbolic of a larger problem. People of color make up a majority of New York City's population, but the fire department remains overwhelmingly white. You know, when you're black on this job, it's just like being black in America. It's difficult. You got to fight to be treated fairly. You got to fight to, for them to change the policies that kept blacks off of this job for so long. So Washington focused on the fire department's entrance exam. There was no way you were going to get on a job in New York if you weren't prepared or if you weren't exposed to the way the test was given and what to expect. What was the, the stance of the city and the fire department? I mean, we brought these uh, issues to their attention and they just would either, they would just blow us off basically, you know. The Vulcans and the Department of Justice took their grievances to court. And in 2010, a federal judge ruled that the FDNY used the entrance exam to intentionally discriminate against black and Hispanic applicants, a practice with, quote, deep historical roots. Where are we at now in terms of the diversity of the department? The well, uh, the numbers have gone up. Blacks now, we're at about 8 to 9 percent. Kevin Maynard, now a firefighter in Houston, knows his brother would have been happy to see the changes the Vulcan Society has achieved. Look, your brother was committed to diversifying the force. Yeah. What's it like for you to come back home and see, you know, brothers and sisters, like, with that uniform on, on those engines? It's twofold, because it's good to see it. So you have that sense of guilt. For me, I think I wanted him to be around to see it. 